Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heats Ultimate Edition. Plus. Don't forget the plus. And in this episode of our season, as Ryan Blaney and his Menards Ford were going to Las Vegas for the Pennzoil 400. Last episode, raced at Homestead and finished second to William Byron. We were the fastest guys out there. But we lost some track position at one point like an idiot. And then whenever I went to get it back, I just couldn't get back to William Byron. And he was fast too. All he needed was our draft and he could stick with us. But uh, here's the standings after the first two races of the season. We're eight points in front of William Byron. And then, I guess, 13 points in front of Kyle Busch. I don't know why there's no way to access the projected playoffs. I guess because it's a custom season. To actually make it what it was in 2021 the best I could. So yeah, we can't see playoff stuff until we get there. And I was actually ready to delay the whole recording process by like 10 freaking minutes to look up a setup video for Phoenix. And then I realized, oh, Phoenix is not the, the third race of the season. It is the, the fourth race of the season. They're doing this thing where they point the camera at something that's not there. And I'm thinking it's supposed to be Ryan Blaney, but they don't have all that in the game for 2021. They only have it for the previous year. So that's why we didn't get pit stop animations whenever we went to Homestead of Miami. They had the sound effects and all that, but there was no animation. I'm guessing they did that in Heat 5. I don't know. But we're gonna click. Next session. Practice is, is canceled. And I'm going to put on loser setup. And we'll qualify with that. Do I sound bipolar or gay? Like, leave in the comments below. I mean, if, if anyone actually answers the question, it's just like this one person's like, you sound gay, and then then someone's gonna come in to, to, to defend me, and it's like, no, you did not watch the video. Do I sound bipolar or gay? I feel like I go from one style of commentary to another. Just like that. It's strange. Monotone, animated, and full of energy. Uh, about half a second off of the pole time, and we're starting further back than Homestead. I don't feel like that the lap lengths versus like this track and Homestead are all that different. So this is strange to to be closer in times, but then further away. Matt DiBenedetto is starting up here. Chris Buescher is starting fourth. He should have won a stage at Homestead, like he did in reality in 2021. But Austin Dillon is your pole sitter, and Kyle Larson's also in the front row. What's this shit with Austin Dillon being good? He wasn't good in 2021, in my opinion. I think both he and Tyler Reddick were kind of eh, and Tyler Reddick showed some winning speed. But yeah, Austin Dillon didn't make the playoffs because he never won a race. Tyler Reddick did because he was just... Uh, the, the better driver on the team. But, uh, Kyle Busch sent to the back. Alex Bowman sent to the back. And Cole Custer failed pre-race inspection. I wasn't paying attention. Was it Kyle Busch that was in front of us? I wouldn't assume that was the other two guys. They suck. Kyle Busch, he's a skilled wheelman driver card person. I don't know. 19 laps in the first stage, just like Homestead. There's the Daytona 500 winner, Austin Sindrick. He didn't have to beat me up to do it. Everybody else did. You got a run off of turn two. He's going to let off. And this probably raised something like the Xfinity series, where we're fast on like the first two laps, maybe. And then we just slowly drop. Yeah, I can climb all the way up to the lead or second place and then fall back to the tent right where I started. Ugh. Or maybe the car works better. There's always a possibility of that. By the way, this is supposed to be a full throttle track. Because it's 2021 season. At, even in 2020, it's supposed to be that. So I don't know why we're still racing with this package from early 2019 and late 2018. But the racing was good last time at, at Homestead. And this could be as well, who knows. 
I'm, I'm working it. I'm still moving forward. This is so weird. 105 difficulty, and I've still got pace with these guys. It wasn't like that in the Xfinity series. Why, why is the Cup series being easier than the Xfinity series? Mm. Oh my god. To be honest, the Cup series was easier in the, than the Xfinity series. A lot of EA Sports games. I remember playing NASCAR 09 on the PS2. And the Xfinity series cars were so bad and so tight all the time that you couldn't compete with anybody. Then you get to the Cup Series and it's just a piece of cake. Still got them dang silhouettes in the background. I think they solved some of that with NASCAR Rivals from the screenshots that I've seen. But I haven't seen all the tracks where it's been a problem in, in this game. Especially Vegas with these mountains. And it's just a cartoon. Looks like something from a Flash game. You look... Like, why can't they just put a skybox? Like, we have a skybox, but it's not a normal skybox. It's like, we just have clip art for mountains. Undetailed. I don't get it. They could have just had, like, a JPEG skybox go all the way around the track. And that be the background. No. You have silhouettes and it looks ugly. Now, there's nothing you can really do about actual objects around the track. Like, if the grandstands are way out in the distance, then it winds up being a silhouette until you actually get to it. Yeah, I get that. I just don't know why they had to dumb it down so much for the Nintendo Switch. Because some of these things are just not necessary. They definitely improved some stuff on the Rivals game. So I've seen screenshots and it just looks better in so many aspects. You never truly know until you actually play the damn thing. I like that we're hanging with these guys though. Got them all over the damn track. Trying to get in the draft and then set up the corner. If I can clear Byron, I can move up to six and then start working on Larson. No! Freaking Keslowski sent it on the outside. With a huge runoff from the top. And I wound up getting nothing. Keselowski's on the move. Got to pass Larson. I can't pass Byron. Fuck you, Keslowski, shitty teammate. Him making that move prevented me from passing Byron. I was probably going to in turn three. Come on. Now Larson's holding up Keslowski. You should try passing him on the bottom. That way I can use your draft. I can't do it this way. I mean, he's using the middle lane. What the fuck? Clear? Finally. This this is great. And then a random freaking caution. I was about to follow Larson at the top of the track. And then I saw these guys were staying in line at the bottom. Okay. So they're all pitting. Fine. I'm pitting too. I'll... Get no repairs necessary. And we'll get the tires. And we'll fill it up. 1.5 cans. Still 7th. Good stuff. We're on the inside. I tend to be doing most of my work that we've seen so far from the inside. I don't know if they'd prefer to be doing it on the outside back with this package. Sure, at Kansas. But this isn't exactly Kansas. I remember at one point on Heat Evolution... Maybe? I don't know if it was Heat 2. Whenever you went to Las Vegas, you could run the top of the track faster than you could the bottom. And I did it in some online races. I can't believe I raced online in Heat Evolution that much. At one point, I, w I was doing it like every evening. And then suddenly I just stopped because Heat 2 came out. I'm having a great restart. I could win this stage. Ow. With the pace that I was showing, I could. I just gave Larson a huge shove. He can pass both these guys. He sticks to it. Nope. He's going to pull in behind. I'm going to set up turn three. Really nice. Good arc. Oh, look at the car turn. 
And then it's not a big enough run to actually make the pass happen. Okay. Now Hamlin's starting to drive away. Fucking Keslowski, I swear. I'm going in the middle. Get that clean air. And I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go with you, Keslowski. Don't pull out of my way. Fuck you! God damn, I hate this guy. And I hope that uh, Roger Pinsky does not allow you to race that car next season. <laughs> we'll just have to wait and find out whenever I start the Let's Play of the next NASCAR team. This is, I'm like in this war right here. Being a shitty teammate here at Vegas. Where's Logano? Supposed to be one of his best damn tracks. He's got the Pinzo car and he ain't doing anything with it. Well, those leaders are driving away. Well, that ends the first stage. Fifth place. Keselowski. Okay, so yeah, Hamlin is leading, and I, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I want a sandwich. Go make me a sandwich. I gotta finish the race first, though. Stupid race. Man, I don't even like this track. And there's not really anything that special about it. I have no damage repair. We'll get the four tires, and we'll fill the tank. And I'm still fifth. Restart from seventh last time. So, I could take the lead at this restart. Have a better chance. If Keselowski doesn't purposely get in my way and, and stop me, prevent me from being competitive, I doubt I'll be competitive for the entire 17 laps. I don't think we're the fastest here. Otherwise, I'll be able to just drive right up to him. Aerodynamics are definitely more important with this track than they were at Homestead. Sure, there was draft, but I mean, you know, it doesn't matter where I drive once they start getting away, and there's no going back to them. I wound up not taking the lead at the restart. Darn. 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 I think Keselowski's going to win this race. I, I am supposed to be happy about that. <laughs> All right. And Austin Dillon checks up. Why why is Austin Dillon being nicer to me than Brad Keselowski? This lore just keeps getting more stupid as the race goes on. No, not inside. Side by side, and I can't keep up with him. This is nuts. This car is unstable. It keeps wobbling and going all over the goddamn track. I'm trying to stay with Hamlin's draft so I can keep up with these guys, but I mean, it's not going to be any use. I know I'm slower than them, so that's why we're losing them. Freaking Truex. Well, I can stay with Truex, dude. No, no outside. I can't do anything up there anyway. He's doing things up there anyway. He did things up there anyway. This is... Yeah. And we got a top five car, so that's nice. At least we have someone to hang on to and like battle with. I, I can do with Truex. They're just having this battle between Hamlin and Keselowski, though. It's stupid, because Truex is on his own. I'm on my own. Is he pulling me towards them? Or is, is nothing happening at all? There, there's also a possibility of that. We go up the track. Get off the gas. Oh, that's a good corner. That, that's too good of a corner. Which is... Not a good corner. No! How to have such a great corner. I catch Truex and then he catches me. And Austin Dillon here. Now I got two pass pro shops car in front of me. That's gonna happen a lot this season. I don't know how many times that happened in reality. I don't you know, I don't even know how many times it still happens now where they both drive their Bass Pro Shops car same race. I mean, it's good for Bass Pro Shops, but they're not even on the same team. They could swap rides. You wouldn't even notice, to be honest. I don't know how much truth there is to that statement. Now, we're faster than Truex. Uh, don't think we're faster than Austin Dillon, though. 
I wanted to pass Drex there so I could stay with Austin Dillon if he drives away. But can't. We're like neck and neck with Truex. Yeah, they just told me I was about to run out of gas, so we should probably all do this. Yeah, don't wreck the car, though. Don't wreck the car. Well, I have to fix that now. Oh, well, then they go ahead and end the stage early, so I'll fix that under the caution. I wish I was good at getting on pit road, but it's too hard to do that. You gotta mash the brakes and turn all the way, or don't hit the brakes and don't turn it at all. That's this controller for you. Eight seconds of damage. Now I was gonna get to third. They're taking stupid pit stops and shit. Okay, so um, yeah, we gotta get four tires and we gotta fill the tank and we, we gotta do all that stuff. And I fall back to twenty fifth. I got my stage points though. So this this is the final stage. I felt like I was just finished the first stage. That's how long this race feels. Like. Well, for me, focus-wise, a lot was going on in that long green flag run. Um, visually, not much was happening. It's starting to actually feel like the low horsepower and low downforce package now. the way that you get strung out and you can't do anything and you have to be in the clean air and it's hard as shit to just make a pass on somebody. All that's starting to line up together. Except we're going extremely fast. I don't know why we have so much freaking grip to, to carry 190 into the freaking corners or whatever it is. Yeah, I guess it's, uh, it's about 190 be higher if I'm actually sitting in the draft with somebody. And I'm not into this race. I'm I'm not feeling this race. I don't think I've ever been in the mood for Las Vegas races in this game. Ugh. Now I don't have any draft to help me out in the straights. I'm throwing the car over the goddamn track to maneuver through traffic. So I, yeah, I'm, I'm not winning this one. Unless we get a late race caution and I just happened to be already up front and pass everyone, but I wasn't able to do that at the start of the second stage. I don't have much to say because this track is boring and I don't even like it. Still race as well, I guess. You know, we're having racing, having battles, but, you know, it feels lifeless. And also I'm tired. The races are, are freaking longer now in the comp series, so I gotta stretch out my comp tape. Big spaces between everything I say. And they're doing this thing where they all line up together and stay in their draft. Even in the corners. And if they want to pass them by, they have to get out of the draft. And you can't pass somebody if you're sitting in their draft. It's strange how it works. Move, you dumbass. Man, I wanna wreck this guy. I so badly wanna wreck this guy. Why are you taking up the whole track? Buzz McFuckhead. Okay, pass Ryan Priest. And just like that, back up to 13th. We didn't even start 13th, we started 12th. This is the furthest back we've been all right. And now we're back where we started, into 12. So many gaps to make up, 
so many cars to pass. And then a caution comes out in the exact same spot as last time, which is weird because it happened because I wrecked on pit road. So this time somebody else wrecked coming onto pit road. No green flag pit stops in this race. Okay then. So we got to get tires. No damage to repair still. And we're going to fill it up with two cans. Still seventh. All right, so we... Had a restart from seventh back in stage one, I believe. And I was able to climb up to third or fourth or whatever. So now I have a chance to win this race. I, I really don't think I'm going to. I don't have the Keselowski speed. I told you, this guy's going to win this race. I don't think anyone's is testing him today. Logano got up here, though. Logano's here. Yay. Logano. How you doing with Logano? Logano. I don't know. Remember that question I asked you at the beginning of the video? <laughs> Am I bipolar or gay? I don't fucking know. I got all these guys' drafts. Uh, really solid corner entry. Gained a bunch of time. Gonna slide up, but we're still gonna stay. Kyle Bush. God damn it, I just want to go up the fucking track. That's all I want to do is want to go up the track, sit in the draft. But no, I gotta jerk the car over the goddamn place with a flick stick. I, I, that, some go to the bottom, some go to the inside. It's like, I wish they would all just stay there. We could all be fast together or some shit. Well, now Hamlin's driving away with it. Keselowski. Why would you let him do this? You done pissed me off. Why the heck you... You're not going to insult me further? And when Al Truex is passing me, I'm just trying to stay in the draft. And then Truex is like, no, you're not staying in the draft. You're getting passed. He's not planning on winning the race. He's planning on making a pass. That happened a while ago whenever I was trying to pass Truex. So I can get ahead of him because I was faster. But then like he didn't want to let me go. In this situation, I have to let him go. I only have an option because I'm on the outside. Still there. Uh, dude. Nah. Uh, that's what I get. I want to say that Hamlin and Kozlowski are driving away from us. I think all these guys are driving away with us. I don't know why. I was faster than these guys earlier. I'm trying to hang with them. That, that's, that's good. That's a lot better. I need to close the gap a bit in the straights, and I just can't. Just let off. Get a 
good arc in and worrying more about my corner than staying in the draft or whatever. I think I'm faster drafting at the bottom than I am up the top with the cars. Okay. So we'll get back to Kyle Busch. We'll get a top five out of this, I guess. Okay, that's a great send into the corner. And we will check him up. And I'm going for fourth. You put the caution before I could get my nose ahead and take the position. Thank you. Now I'm on the inside. I don't know if I would like to have a restart from the outside. I was going to complain about that. Maybe we could end the race early or something. All right, here we go. It's just like the freaking 2022 Las Vegas race. Some guy spun his race car because he's a no-talent fucking hack. And Austin Dillon's going to win the race or something. Or Ryan Blaney will. Some stupid shit. I'm going to try to win the race. I suppose this dumb freaking system. It should be my teammate Kozlowski that I'm done pissed me off all freaking race. Ow. Fucking apron. Dude, I don't have runs at the restart like I did in the other two series. That's a good thing. I hated that. It's a stupid advantage. Oh, great corner. Oh my god. Freaking Austin Dillon damn near pulling to the inside of Keselowski. Yeah, that's the last lap. Ugh. Damn it. There's nowhere to make the pass. And I'm getting tight, so we're getting Denny Hamlin here. This guy wants to drive it into the fucking wall. God damn. They don't just let you go. Man, I could have had Kyle Busch and Denny Hamlin. I'm not even going to get Denny Hamlin because, like, they just have way more fucking grip than us. I don't know where they're getting that shit, but we ain't got it. We'll still get a top five. I made nothing of that restart. And Austin Dillon, I guess he made up, like, one spot. Here are your race results. Keselowski with the stage win and Denny Hamlin with the stage win. They were just battling for the lead all race long. It was, it was all them. And then you had me, Austin Dillon, and Martin Trek Sr. battling for, like, third. Truex winds up finishing seventh. Domenedetto still got a top ten smile. Chase Briscoe finished ninth. That is unlike Stuart Haas racing in 2021. Uh, what else? What about what DNFs? Our DNFs this race are David Reagan, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., and Timmy Hill. And here are the points in exactly that one. We have a 12-point lead in front of Denny Hamlin. I think that's what that is. Yeah, yeah. 12-point lead. I'll see you guys next weekend whenever we go to Phoenix Raceway for the Fan Shield 500. That's a stupid name for a race. And I'm going to go take a shower and go to sleep. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.